If you are looking to share files between Synology NAS devices that are in remote locations, one of the best ways to do this is by using Synology Drive ShareSync. What Synology Drive ShareSync provides is the ability to sync data between devices so that each has a local copy of the data. Then if a file is modified or added to one Synology NAS, the changes are then synced to the second NAS so that each remains up to date and in sync with each other. For further details on Synology Drive ShareSync, I'll leave a link to Synology's knowledge base article in the description below. Before being able to set up Synology Drive ShareSync, there are a few prerequisites that need to be in place. First, make sure to install the Synology Drive server package on each Synology NAS. Then on the remote NAS, which is the one I'm currently on, you'll want to set up either DDNS and port forwarding or Quick Connect. This is what will allow the main or local NAS to establish a ShareSync connection between the two devices. In my case, I'll use Quick Connect which I'll set up by going to Control Panel, then External Access. Under the Quick Connect section, I'll enable Quick Connect, and because I've set up Quick Connect in the past, I already have a Quick Connect ID entered. You'll want to make sure to enter in a Quick Connect ID in your setup, then click Apply. Now let's start setting up Synology Drive to be ready to make use of ShareSync if you haven't been using Synology Drive already. On the local or main Synology NAS, you'll want to set up a team folder that will contain the files you want to sync to the remote NAS. This requires a shared folder to be created from the shared folder control panel. Here I'll give the shared folder a name and select the default options through the remainder of the setup process. Next, I'll bring up the Synology Drive admin console from the main menu. Select the team folder option, then select the shared folder that I just created and click Enable. I'll leave the versioning options as is, then click OK and OK again on this pop-up window. Now I'll bring up FileStation and copy a few files into the shared folder that was just created to have some files in place to be synced to the remote NAS when everything is set up. On the remote Synology NAS, you'll also want to create a shared folder that will be used for the ShareSync setup. And to keep things organized, I'll give the shared folder the same name I used on the local NAS. Next, I'll bring up Synology Drive Admin Console, bring up the Team Folder section, and enable the shared folder as a team folder on the remote NAS as well. Now we're ready to set up Synology Drive ShareSync. So back on the local NAS, I'll bring up Synology Drive ShareSync from the main menu and click Start Now from this welcome window, which will bring up the Synology Drive ShareSync setup wizard. On this window, I'll enter in the Quick Connect ID of the remote NAS, along with entering in an administrator username and password of the remote NAS as well. Once the connection is established, this Select Remote Folders window will pop up. Here, I'll select the remote shared folder that I set up earlier and click Next. From this Review Sync Settings window, I'll make sure the folders that I'd like to sync between the two devices are correct, which they are in my case, and also make sure that two-way sync is enabled, which it is by default. Now I'll click Done to finish up the setup and to start the syncing between the two devices. At this point, the initial sync has completed successfully, and back on the remote NAS, if I bring up File Station, in the shared folder set up for syncing, I can see the files that were synced over from the local NAS. Now I'd like to do some testing to make sure that two-way syncing is working properly. First, I'll copy a file into the synced shared folder on the remote NAS to see if it gets synced to the local NAS. Then back on the local NAS, we can see that the Synology Drive ShareSync application is currently syncing the file. Once the sync is completed, the application displays a status of up to date. And if I bring up file station and the shared folder that is set up for syncing, I now see the file that was synced over from the remote NAS. Next, I'd like to test to make sure that file changes get synced between the devices. I'll do this by bringing up the text editor application on the local NAS, 
create a new file that I'll add some content to. And save the file in the shared folder set up for ShareSync. Once saved, we can see that syncing starts up automatically. Then, back on the remote NAS, I now see the text file that was just synced. I'll once again open the file with the text editor application, add some additional content to the file, and save the changes, which starts up the syncing process once again. Now, back on the local NAS, I'll open the text file that was just synced. And we can see the changes that were done on the remote NAS, which confirms that files that are edited are synced properly through Synology Drive ShareSync as well. Synology Drive ShareSync is a great way to keep two Synology NAS devices in sync, giving each site a local copy of files that users can work on instead of possibly needing to connect to a remote Synology NAS to access those files. Synology Drive also provides other options to access your files, which I cover in the videos in this playlist listed here on screen. And if you would like to support my work or hire me to assist in setting up Synology Drive ShareSync in your environment, check out the links either here on screen or in the description below. Thanks so much for watching.